Hurricane Milton seems like it developed overnight, and in a way it did. Yeah, meteorologist Rachel Dunzig is joining us now to explain how that is. A lot of us have been watching this closely, and every hour or two seems like it's picked up yeah. steam. I know, and it just like every time you see the update, your sort of stomach, your heart just drops because Milton has become a major hurricane in a short amount of time. So Saturday afternoon, Milton got its name, became a tropical storm, but then by Sunday afternoon, it was a hurricane, a Category 1, and then less than 24 hours later, Milton strengthened into the Category 5 we're talking about right now. And of course, right now, Monday evening, it is the strongest hurricane on record in the Gulf of Mexico during the month of October. Winds are now sustained at 180 miles per hour. So how did we get here? So one part of Milton's story is the incredibly warm water of the Gulf of Mexico. So the waters here are running one to two degrees Celsius warmer than average. And even though Hurricane Helene moved through the eastern Gulf of Mexico less than two weeks ago, that storm was actually such a fast mover. It didn't have much of a chance to upwell or bring up deep, cool water to significantly cool down the water temperatures of the Gulf of Mexico. And remember, Hurricanes need warm water to get stronger. So again, Milton is already the strongest hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico during the month of October. The previous strongest was Hurricane Michael, which was a Category 5 with sustained winds of 160 miles per hour back in 2018. By the way, Milton is the name that replaced Michael. October hurricanes, while later in the season, can clearly be very strong and devastating. The strongest October hurricane on record was Wilma back in 2005, which had sustained winds of 185 miles per hour in the Caribbean. Milton is currently only five miles per hour off tying that record. Now, both of these storms, Wilma and Milton, have rapidly gotten stronger. Wilma went from a Category 1 to a Category 5 in just 12 hours. While Milton first strengthened into a Category 1 Sunday afternoon, it was still a Category 1 this morning. So from that early morning advisory, when it was still a Category 1, to when it strengthened into a Category 5 just before noon, took less than 10 hours. This is a storm, unfortunately, we're going to be talking about for a long time. We are watching it carefully for our friends and family in Florida West. Fortunately, we're not going to have any impacts here at home in North Carolina, but my goodness, this is such a devastating storm. It just breaks your heart.